And we are back. What's up guys? How's it going? Mark Freeman 408. So we're down the street. St. Thomas Ford got seven new Raptors in. So I swung over here. Of course, old St. Thomas. I don't like to come to St. Thomas too much. But when I do, it's because they have seven new Raptors. And one Raptor R that looks like it is sold. This thing is sweet. The only unfortunate thing is I believe this color only comes in the Raptor R because if I were to order one or get one, I would want this color, but I don't think I'd get a Raptor R because I may basically just do a lot of highway driving with it. Yeah. The price tag for a Raptor R is ridiculous. There you go. And then we have a luxury tax in Ontario, which is a lot more, so. I don't know what you would come to in total, but uh, yeah, she wouldn't be cheap, so. Pretty mean machines though. I really like this color. Oh, and I just drove my buddy's 20, 2021 Raptor right before we came here. Absolutely amazing. I got back in my, my I can't even, I don't even remember what it is, my Platinum. I'm like, yeah, we need to get rid of this Platinum and get a Raptor, so. This is a Raptor R. What a beast. And then we have all the other ones over here. We got a black one. Looks kind of like a off blue, white, red, orange, and another black one down there. I don't think I get black again, obviously, just because they get so dirty. Uh, yeah, look at the price difference between the Raptor R and then the normal Raptor. That's Canadian dollars too, you gotta remember that. I know it's a lot cheaper in America. Look at these beasts. What color would you guys go with if you were gonna get one? I'd probably go white. Actually, the red looks good too. The white's all right. I think it kind of looks weird with the white and then the different fender flares there. I really like this red. Actually, last time I was in St. Thomas, they had a red Raptor here. Then we have the orange. So many. So little time. Oof. And yes, driving it is as amazing as you think it is, that's for sure. So anyways, I'm gonna get out of here. I just want to look at them, check them out. The only other thing that I wish they had is the tow mirrors. I've always ran tow mirrors on my truck and these just have the smaller mirrors. Where's my tow mirror? Way over there. You can just see so much more with the tow mirrors, so. Uh, makes me all excited. <laughs> but yes, this red definitely sticks out well. I think that's my favorite color though. So mean. This one's got the 37 package. Get out of here and we're supposed to get 15 to 25 mils of rain. Big old hurricane coming. This is what happens when you have too much fun with a raptor. <laughs> Ooh, whoops. had 24 hours of rain so all our snow is completely gone as you can see. Just wanted to come down here and show you guys. Oh. And we continue the video. Look at this. After two days of straight rain all our snow is freaking gone. And it was 10 degrees yesterday, 11 degrees. So we're going to find some ditch snow, though. Some ditch and snow, right, Justin? We located the J bomb here. We got the cherry going. We found, I swung by the uh, post office this morning for some suckers. Yep. And uh, yeah, this uh, new wrap has not seen snow yet, I don't think. I think we, we've just uh, skipped it. And it has not seen daylight either. So 
Yeah, it's got the gold flake there, so I want to see what it looks like in the sun. So we'll push her out and uh, maybe put some gas in it and uh, yeah. And then hopefully there's a cold spell coming and I'm hoping the ponds freeze over because I do have the studded tires for the Maverick and I would like to test the new Maverick on some ice. So there is ice out there, but it's pretty thin right now. So anyways, let's get this thing loaded up and go do some ditch banging. There she is in the old sun. Yeah, probably got some dust on it. She's glimmering now. Holographic and gold flake on this bad boy. She definitely looks well. All right, let's do this. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, we got some freshies. Oh, this is upside down. Is it? Yeah, I think so. It's upside down. The DeWalt Tough System 2.0. Look at this bad boy. Did I just film the worst unboxing video where I'm just like filming your face all the time when you're open? You're like, wow, this is amazing. <laughs> this is next level. DeWalt's always surprising me with random stuff. I love it. Best company to work with, best tools. I've been helping a buddy install Windows lately and uh, they have a few other different brands and like I show up with my DeWalt and just crush everything. I'm not going to mention the other brand's names, but... Uh, oh, we work with a different brand at work too. And then I go home and I pull out my brand. <laughs> <laughs> and you build your, your Tonka sets. <laughs> yeah, I hang a oh. lot of pictures. Look at that, what nice little tough system. So what is they it? did send me a tough system before. It's a little bigger. This one's like the lunchbox tough system. Is that a one. charger? What, what is it? Holy, there's a plug on. Is this a speaker? Is this, you know what it is? Microwave. You got pizza pops? <laughs> Ugh, I don't even know how to open it. There we go. Tough system storage. Uh, it looks like it's a, oh, that's cool. It's a charger. So you store your batteries in there and throw it on top of your... Uh... Where's the charging part happen? In here. All right. You stick on here. Oh, right there. I was looking at this part. Okay, cool. So yeah, this is a charger. So you just put your batteries in there. You're good to go. And then this clicks together with all your other tough systems. So. I think you have one over there somewhere. I do have one <laughs> over there somewhere. I can run and grab and can try a battery on it. We'll do it on the, uh, on the next one. I got my battery charger oh, kit over there. Look at that. Don't look at those other tools. Those are my dad's. <laughs> I think he won them at a golf tournament or something. Yeah. And then we got the that's, I think that's how everyone ends up with those tools. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you only win them at golf tournaments. Uh, the other kit. Oh. Oh, yeah. Look at that box. That is a sweet looking box. You just look at it. It's like <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> it's like kids on Christmas they, they're more Ooh. interested in the box we got a freshy flashlight these flashlights are actually super key I uh, I never used mine before and then I'm like I'm gonna start using this thing use it all the time it now. rotates up too right yeah. like this and you can hang it on stuff that's cool we got the saw somehow come on open open the one thing I've learned about this saw when you first get it, you need to put the blade on it. The right way? The right way. <laughs> <laughs> the tool is right here. <laughs> I did it once. I'm like, I don't know how to, how do I, it was an Allen key before, but no, it's a, anyways, I'm looking for a freaking Allen key. Finally find one, couldn't figure it out. Anyways, that's where they hide the tool is right there. Also make sure you don't put it in upside down. Cause I think I did it on mine and it drags on the bottom. Cause I wanted to cross. You yeah. wedged it in there? I wedged it in. You I didn't even look it at in. it. I was in a hurry, slammed it in. Ugh. What else we got? Ooh, we got the grinder. Grinder, also key. I use this all the time. You know, signing cars, write yep. my name in them. Yep. Um, and Making it's, convertibles. It's super easy to uh, change the blade on there. I think this one has the brake on it too. Well, yeah. handle. The brake on it, so when you shut it off, it stops almost instantly. We got the impact. This thing will rip the nuts off anything. All brushless too, that's nice. Oh yeah, you gotta keep it brushless. We got the drill, because you know, in case you gotta drill some things. Emily does not like that one. It's so loud on her balcony. Oh, right. <laughs> it's just concrete drill and just echo. <laughs> <laughs> we got some batteries, of course, and all your, all your accessories. What do we got? Five amp hour, nice. Five. Wow. And then we got... Charger in there too? Oh yeah. Oh, that's nice. 
Last but not least, the Sawzall. Ooh, this is right. definitely my favorite Sawzall. Works well. I cut a lot of mufflers off with it, or cut, I cut roofs off a lot. So, so if you're gonna turn a car into, or a truck into a convertible, what's your tool of choice? This one. Yeah? Yeah, with a little grinder in there, but mostly this one. Everyone's like, use a grinder. I'm like, it works well, but you know, you can't really bend the blade on a grinder. These ones, you can flex the blade a little bit, so. You cut through anything saw. Exactly, so check out the links below. I did not know we were doing an unboxing video today, <laughs> but you know, random stuff shows up all the time, so. Thank you again, Dole, and uh, let's go uh, sledding. What'd you find? I found one more thing before we start this. Oh, oh, oh. The power stacks. Oh, someone's home. Oh, the Is that door's you? <laughs> opening. Oh, yellow. Oh, and a new chainsaw. Like, oh, Chain. Nice. Someone borrowed by and wrecked it. We <laughs> <laughs> do a little video. Hey, Rob. Yeah, I just had to run to the store and get some breakfast. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Got the oatmeal for everybody. Oatmeal pancakes, oatmeal banana pancakes. Check oh, those sound. Out. You plug you plug your toolbox in, and you can charge your batteries. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. And they all click together. All your toolboxes click together. Wow, the old tub system. Yeah, exactly. I feel like I'm in an ad right now. <laughs> <laughs> now we just need the one with wheels. All right, let's go grip it and rip it. <laughs> I feel like I'm always looking at the left ski, not the right ski. Uh, so usually that's how it's supposed to load, but apparently if you park on ice, the ramp still will slide. So most people would delete those bloopers, but we're gonna run it. We keep them all. All right. And then you just lift her up. Yeah. I couldn't and help your, you. Your but... ski gets caught because it's too far over. Oh. You're really selling this. <laughs> I know. Ugh. Then you get mud all over you. All right, let's roll. <laughs> Run it. <laughs> Run it. <laughs> Half on, good enough. sitting inside doing nothing. All 
but uh, definitely some interesting snow underneath. It was like soft, but then rock hard underneath. And who knows if there's any stakes under there or whatever. And then I whacked the thorn bush a few times. That, that felt good, but uh, no, it's good. It's a wheelie nice, that was good. So we're gonna try and find one more spot and then maybe go back to the farm and skip the river. We've been driving for about 20 minutes now, <laughs> and this is the best we could do. Seems to be getting a little better the further we go this way, but. Not much. No. Uh, we just want some winter. I just want some frozen ponds so I can uh, rip the Maverick with the studded tires too. That'd be nice, but. All right, let's carry on. Found some snow. Look how crunchy it is. Huh. <laughs> to hit it fast and run it like a stone cross track. Like a whoop section, like that didn't even dig down. <laughs> I know, that's crazy. Look how big my track is, the stumps. I think it'd be tough through a little bit, but no. oh my god. I think he'd just uh, snow track it, super cross it. Alright, I'll give it a whoop. Smells like frozen. I figured it'd sink in a little bit, but... That yeah, was it? hard. I was jumping on it. I yeah. couldn't break through. Rock hard. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the house, skip a bit of water, and then we'll get out of here. This freaking winter, I tell you. Oh. Well, at least the uh, the river's always grimmed, so we're going to take this bad boy down, throw on a few laps on the river, and we'll wrap this one up. Trust me, I'd way rather be, you know, in powder doing crazy videos, but... This is the hand we're dealt, eh, Justin? Yeah, I brought my snowmobile. <laughs> okay. You gonna ride that down the hill? Yeah. Uh, look at this thing. All right. Attempt number three or four. Look at the size of that guy. I don't know what happened to him. But someone ate that one. Let's see. Water's flowing pretty good.
My favorite part is actually the nails that stick out. <laughs> That's how you know it's good. I didn't think we put nails in it. It just came with nails. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't even know where this wood came from. Down through. I know you invented this like three years ago or something. I don't even want my name on that. <laughs> <laughs> this dolly is like 20 years old. It was for when we first got those sleds back in high school. Actually before high school. Probably grade 7 or 8. Pre-Bitcoin days. Pre-Bitcoin. And I was offered to buy... My buddy said, hey, there's this new thing coming out, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, we should buy some. And they were $150 at the time. And uh, I was like, eh, whatever. Never did it. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's lots of things I never did that I probably should have that, you know, I could probably buy this house with cash now, but no, I'm still just loving the in-debt life. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Sorry it wasn't more crazy. I was really hoping for some more snow. It does look like we're going to get one more cold spell, but it's just been another junk winter. So um, hopefully we can get out with the Maverick and do a studded ice video as well. So I'm hoping next week when it gets cold, it'll stay cold for a few weeks because, you know, basically the mid two weeks in February is our best time for winter. And as you can see, this is what we're dealing with. So I guess we'll uh, get back in the cars again and I'd love to do some Tannerite videos soon. So anyways, thank you guys again. Make sure you follow Justin. Don't do anything we wouldn't do and uh, sell your snowmobile. No one needs one. <laughs> Later.